Hello, I'm Dr. Phil Griffin, a clinical audiologist at the UNC School of Medicine Division of Speech and Hearing Sciences. And I'm Reagan Manning. I'm a Doctor of Audiology student at UNC Chapel Hill. In this video, we're going to show you how BPPV, or positional vertigo, is treated in the right posterior canal. Here you can see the audiologist supporting the patient through the treatment. For this video, we're going to remove the audiologist so that you can see the proper treatment angles. Here's a quick run through of the treatment with the audiologist removed so that you can see the head positions clearly. We'll go into more detail in just a second. First off, the person with BPPV is sitting on a table or a bed. Then, the person turns their head to the right. For the first position, lay the person down with their head turned to the right and tilted back. The head should be turned 45 degrees to the right. Here you can see the proper angle representing where the nose is pointed. Also, the head should be tilted back by about 20 degrees if able. Be mindful to try to achieve and keep these angles to improve treatment effectiveness. Hold this position for one to two minutes. For the next position, the head will be turned to the left. It will end up being 45 degrees to the left while still being tilted back, as we showed before. Here you can see the proper movement into the next position and the proper angle, representing where the nose is pointed. Once you get into this position, hold it for one to two minutes. Please note, as the head is moving from the right to the left, do not lift the head. We'll show you the wrong way so that you can know what to avoid. Now for the next position. Lying on the left side with nose pointed towards the floor and chin tucked. To get into this position, we need a swift and smooth movement. Simply roll over onto the left side, making sure the chin is tucked and that the nose is pointed towards the floor. Here you can see the proper angle showing where the nose is pointed. Hold this position for two to three minutes. Please note, do not lift the head as you make this movement. We'll show you the wrong way so you can know what to avoid. Now for the final position of the treatment. For this, a simple movement to a sitting position is what's called for. It may be helpful to keep the chin tucked during this movement and raise the head to a normal level some seconds after sitting. Beware of sudden and intense feelings of dizziness, such as dropping or falling, which may occur directly after sitting up. If being treated by an audiologist, they will hold on to you strongly during this time period in case of any dizziness. As a recap, we'll show you the treatment again. And here we have the same treatment shown in side view.
And here we have it from the audiologist's point of view or treater's point of view to help you appreciate the angles. That's it. The treatment is over. Congratulations. Years of research have investigated the effect of restricting activities and movements after treatment. Researchers have tested things such as wearing a cervical collar or avoiding lying completely flat for some hours or even days after treatment to see if it would improve the outcomes. The current evidence as of 2021 shows that restrictions do not improve the effectiveness of the treatment. Therefore, people should feel free to resume their normal activities if the treatment eliminated their dizziness. This has been a treatment video for right posterior canal BPPV and has been a production of the UNC School of Medicine Division of Speech and Hearing Sciences.